Okay, bell ringer fans. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. I've had the same Valentine for like 30 some since 1991. But I have a secret, a secret crush. Mr. Kovacs Class, it's Mr. Kovacs Class, you might learn how to talk, it's Mr. Kovacs Class, he's interested too, it's Mr. Kovacs Class, and he's super cool, it's Mr. Kovacs Class. Yes, I have a secret crush, and her name is Fiona, and she's a hippopotamus, and today is World Hippopotamus Day. Yeah, Fiona's from Cincinnati. She lives at the Cincinnati Zoo. Um, she's a beautiful hippopotamus, and she likes to eat the products of photosynthesis. It's her favorite. Well, she loves like watermelons and pumpkins and anything that's got a lot of sugary photosynthetic products. And, um, Fiona, of course, is a great story. You're gonna learn about her later today. Um, she was born at the zoo and um, it was kind of an amazing birth and uh, un, un, unexpected circumstances, right? And then one of the things I interesting about Fiona, look at this cutie pie. You know, they're originally from Africa and um, they're large grassland animals. Um, they probably, it's going to seem strange, but they seem to be very closely related to whales. Um, the word hippopotamus means like river horse. <laughs> Uh, that's weird. But anyway, um, they're like the most dangerous animal in all of Africa. Even more dangerous. Like, more, you gotta worry more about being killed by an interaction with a hippo than you do with a lion or a leopard or a cheetah, you know? Anyway, what I also love about hippos is, look at this skull. That's a hippopotamus skull. And I've seen this meme and it cracks me up every time. Here's the skull. Here's how you would reconstruct the animal. And then here's what he really looks like. <laughs> so happy World Hippo Day. And Fiona the Hippo is my secret crush. Of course, we're not all about hippos today. We're studying plants and uh, in particular photosynthesis. And so my period three, four today have a lab where we're gonna try to measure photosynthesis with actual leaves. And that lab will be done by my other classes tomorrow.